Hello, what's up everyone? I'm back again with another video tutorial. So today in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss how to optimize your e-commerce website. So there are some tips that I'm going to share in this video that will help you boost your website's performance, that will help your website reach, that will help you and your business reach more audience, more targeted audience. This is the best one for them because definitely you want your business to reach people and people to reach out and buy products from you. I'll share some tips with you which you can use and boost your website performance so the first one that is is that you need to add descriptions you need to add titles you need to be more precise and add more details to your website's uh, content descriptions because it'll help the data crawlers basically when the data crawler of Google search engine are going through and reading information of websites that will help them to reach out more clearly read more details from your website and from your content that through which Google can help and find the content on your website that might be super suitable that's what the uh, person on the internet is looking for through this way is the first way where you can optimize your e-commerce website so the tip number two for optimizing your e-commerce website is to categorize your content on your website basically the way your the, uh, contents are arranged on your website if somebody is wants to buy something from the website let's suppose someone w wants to buy something related to photography so if there is not any categorized way of searching on your website if there is no way of uh, searching for a specific kind of content it will be hard for the user to search and find similar content so the best way to optimize your website is that you categorize contents regarding their needs and how they go in different niches so that's way that's the way where if someone visits your website they, they find it easy to find contents or find the items they are looking to buy off your website the best way to optimize your website regarding this is to go to search engine and search and look for queries that are related to such categories where shoppers are searching on the internet for specific items and how they search for those specific items and through that you can categorize them more clearly and aid takes to these uh, products so they find it easily that helps the google search engine to find the product easily on your website the third tip for this uh, video from this video is that you need to add the variety of your products correctly because for example you are so you are selling a bag and they are in different colors if you don't aid the variety of that bag properly then you might lose some of the customers because of mo course most of people search for specific tags through specific colors or specific variety of items they look for products in a specific way to which they desire it if you don't aid the product in a similar way on your website or on, or on your store this might also cause uh, Google to miss your website because it won't be able to detect that you have similar items on your website uploaded so I would say the best uh, this is one of the important thing that you need to do is aid the varieties aid the quantities of the items correctly on your website so the next tip is that you need to make sure that you are using good URLs so what are good URLs what are bad URLs the good URLs are that you need to specify different events on your website by mentioning them on the URL because that's the first thing that the Google crawl search for on the internet and uh, also make sure that you clearly aid them and uh, make them more prominent when uh, they are next to your uh, website website's main uh, web address some similar to the examples on the screen and some of the bad examples are that you need to skip aiding the date of that event or that product on your url let's suppose you are launching there is a url for the black friday sales of 2023 so you would need to not mention 2023 on your website because this is one of the bad things or the wrong things that people do and they're in by adding it into the url you need to skip the adding the date on your url okay so the next one is that you would need to make sure of your website's performance on the web so basically if you have a store you need to make sure that it loads up quickly and it takes less time to load all the contents and the way the content is arranged on the website so let's suppose you have a website and you have a lot of content on it is too much cluttered then it it would be not easy for the person or the shopper to navigate through your website so you need to make sure that your website is arranged the products are arranged on a website properly and it there is not too much of a loading time for such case scenario what you can do is you can go to google page speed insight and there you can check your url into your url and see 
click on analyze and it'll tell you that how your website is performing and while using that feedback you can also improve the speed of your website so the next step for the e-commerce website optimization is that you would need to make sure that you have marketing campaign you are running social media pages and you have an email newsletter for the people who have purchased item from your website so they can stay updated if you have something new on the website to sell and then also enable third party reviews so you know people can read reviews before they're reading item and this can also give a um, positive impression of regarding your website because it's more about transparency rather than scamming people this is one of the great way to gain people's trust and make them buy things by um, showing them the review of other customers that have bought from your website so these are one of some of the important things that you need to add to your website because mostly what people do is they make the website and they, they wait for people to reach out there what you need to do is you need to some way uh, find a way to reach out to more people through this for example you can go through uh, marketing campaigns you can go to um, uh, webs uh, use social medias to protect you uh, to advertise your product to other people on the internet through this you can generate traffic so the next tip for uh, the from this video is that you need to get help from experts so what some people do is they create the website and try to get everything or achieve everything by their own they want to be something then they can claim that they are self-made but this is a wrong ideology what you need to do is you need to make sure that you reach out experts that can be from youtube they can be on from blog posts or they can be from some of the seminars you can attend or from some online courses that you can take what you need to do is you need to reach out to people that have already been in the business why because this would help you learn from their exper experience learn from their uh, mistakes because on the way we are making mistakes rather than making the mistake if we know them beforehand we can improvise and we can overcome such hurdles that we are going to face anyways because of us us not knowing that similar problems exist on the internet the last tip the eighth tip from this video i would give you guys is that you need to be aware of what the user those shoppers that are visiting your website need or what they are looking for and how they are interacting with your website now you might say how would i know well, the best way to find out how that is, is basically using Google Analytics. Google Analytics is a great service where you can add your website into the service by simply copying and pasting a bunch of code. And then what is going to happen is basically it's going to go through, look at every click on your website. It's going to go through and see every how your website is performing, how people are interacting with your website and where is something that is going good and what is going bad. Through this, you can analyze, use this analytic and then you can perform you can optimize your website's performance you can make it the way that the user most of the users are looking for and you can also see that what kind of people are reaching out to your website from which region this will also help you in your marketing campaigns that you're going to run for your website that then you can be then you can be targeting more specific um audience rather than spending money on reaching out uh, people that you don't know about or you're not aware of so the best option is that you need to add the Google Analytics to your um, website so you can know what is going on and what is uh, needed to be done to optimize your uh, website. These are some of the tips that I wanted to share with you guys on how to optimize your e-commerce website. I hope you find something new. I hope you find what you were looking for. If there is any question, drop it down in the comment section. Drop a like on the video if you like it and subscribe for more videos like this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.